when you've got loads of things to learn, sometimes or one memory technique that's popular across um, all aspects of life, never mind just music, is uh, the use of mnemonics. Uh, and today I just want to discuss a few that are available in music. The first ones I'm going to cover is note names, probably because they're the most common. Uh, the, it's, whoa, I created a bit of a, a, a storm when I was talking to some other music teachers about this. Some people really frown on the use of mnemonics. However, they're out there, people use them, uh, and you know why, why, should, why should we take that away from them? So the, as I said, the first one I'm going to cover is, is uh, note names. Now, as piano players, we've got treble clef and bass clef, and what we generally do is have uh, a mnemonic for the lines notes and a mnemonics uh, or mnemonics for the space notes. So, if we look at the treble clef and we talk about the line notes first, we've got going from the bottom to the top. Whoever thought of that, I, I've got no idea. But anyway, going from the bottom to the top, you've got E, G, B, D, and F, and quite often people will use every good bus drives fast or every green bus drives fast. Other ones you may have heard of would be every good boy deserves fun, every good boy deserves Fredo. I love Fredo. Um, every good boy deserves football. You know, there's 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 loads of different ones. Don't take mine as gospel. Uh, there's there's plenty out there and whatever helps you remember, then that's, that's fine. One of the ones that's probably universally agreed upon is the spaces in the treble cliff. Uh, and that's F-A-C-E, which strangely enough spells face. So generally I just use face uh, and any pupil that comes in to me from other teachers, they, they know that one straight away. Next one I'll talk about is bass clef. Uh, now again, working from the lines first, we've got G, B, D, F and A. I, because I'm a lover of food, use uh, good burritos don't fall apart. Uh, and there are, as I said, there's plenty of other ones out there, uh, but mine's the best. Uh, and also, if you look at the spaces, you've got A, C, E, and G, going from the bottom to the top again. Uh, and I use all cows eat grass. But as I said, there's plenty out there. Uh, so, you know, pick one that you like and use that. Next one I want to cover is flats and sharps. And the first one I'll do is sharps. Um, when you see sharps written on your, you know, in your key signature, then you need to try and remember what order they appear in and what uh, key they belong to. However, a good way to remember them is Father Charles goes down and ends battle. Next, I'll go, I'm going to go with the flats now. Again, this is almost like the same phrase, but backwards. It's battle ends and down goes Charles' father. These, as I said... <laughs> Strangely enough, I, I learned all these uh, not not through the use of mnemonics, but just through you know working on theory and stuff like that. Uh, and I don't think anything can quite when it comes to key signatures, uh, nothing can really compete with the circle of fifths. Now that's something that I've never really covered in a video, uh, but you know you, you should definitely look it up. It gives you so much information, like all your key signatures, all your relative majors and minors, um, and there's there's other good stuff in there as well. It's a bit of a magical circle, maybe it is the magic circle. I wouldn't know because nobody's allowed to talk about it. If you found this video useful, then hit the like button. And if you would subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell, you'll get told about any future videos that I release. Uh, if you've got any questions, fire them into the comments below. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.